My name is Mark Brush. I'm a Master Chief Petty Officer in the Navy. Been in for 26 years. This is my 1974 Ducati Sport. Belonged to my father-in-law, Sonny Angel, who had a shop in National City, California for 61 years. He bought it somewhere back in the late late 80s, I think, somewhere mid 80s, late 80s. It had uh, been in an accident and had gone down and uh, the bars were bent and all the body work was missing. It was a mess uh, and it had caught fire. So the uh, frame was pretty rusted. Tried uh, restoring it myself and got pretty far into it. Figured that uh, Figured out that it was a little bit beyond my capability. So sent it off to New York to a guy named Dave Brown, DB Cycles, and uh, had him restore it. When we started going through the bikes that he had kept, um, this one, I, I didn't even know what it was uh, as I was learning the bikes individually as far as Nordens and Vincents and Ducatis and, and everything that was there. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure what it was because it didn't have a shred of bodywork on it and uh, went through the frame number and the, uh, the tag that was on it and found out it was a sport and then as I was going through some of the parts that he had kept, uh, he had an entire brand new set of bodywork for it um, and a couple of tubs full of parts. So foot pegs and, and some other odds and ends that he had, uh, Portland Ducati Suzuki, he had uh, bought out all of their new old stock. He had all the bits and pieces to restore it, so that made it rather convenient. So the, the, the tank, the seat, the fenders, everything that's there, um, was uh, new old stock that I sent out to Dave along with the bike. It helped with the restoration. He didn't have to source uh, too many body parts. He went completely through the motor. Motor was in pretty bad shape, at least on the exterior. I don't know uh, how it was on the interior. 73 was the first year that they came out with a twin motor. So it's a twin motor 750. It's, uh, they call that the 73, 74, they call it a round, round case, uh, which is the side of the motor. Uh, the engine case is round versus square. Um, towards like 76, 77, they changed from the, the round to kind of a square engine shape. For quite a few Ducati uh, purists, at least from what I hear, is the, uh, the, the round case was much more attractive before they went to the square. But it's considered a, a bevel drive because it's got a, the, the way that it drives the cam, the shaft that runs up, it's got a little cover on, on top that... Uh, got you know bevel gears that mesh for the uh for the cams it's kind of interesting so it's been the last couple of years uh up until 2012 you know i'd, I'd been on modern sport bikes um r1 uh honda cbr ridden lots of different bikes got my leg over norton here uh, about three years ago for the first time and uh loved it and just rode this one here a couple of weeks ago for the first time and uh, it's got about 200 put about 200 miles on it um, just to kind of break the motor in um, tidy up any of the leaks that it might have before it goes off to a new owner <laughs> compared to a modern sport bike it's a much more gritty ride much more mechanical it's, it's very very different so one of the first things that's uh, very unusual this goes for Norton's as well is it is a right side shift left side brake so it's exactly the opposite of uh, any modern motorcycle so it's you got to kind of wrap your head around that one first because uh, you, you want to shift with your left foot and, and then remember it's on the right uh, another neat thing is that it's already set up GP shift suspension not much in the suspension department so it uh, you get kind of in a tuck and going through a corner on it and it, it bucks around and kind of moves around on the road. That 750 motor for Ducati has a lot of power, uh, at least, you know, for that day and age. It, it's it's fun to ride. It, it chugs through corners, and has a lot of torque, so you get kind of down in the power band and and uh, lug in it a little bit and just give it, give it some throttle clears right up and gets going. You know, and for me, really, you know, as far as taking care of Sonny's 
stuff over the last uh, five years. Kind of a crash course in learning classic motorcycles. Uh, you know, it, it helped to be a, a motorcycle enthusiast first, um, and having been into motorcycles for 30 plus years, but never really had an appreciation for classic bikes. Uh, well, I did, but I mean, as far as never owned one, um, just never thought about owning one. Honestly, everything was always, you, being a modern sport bike guy, you're always looking for the, the more modern technology, faster bikes, being on R1s. I've had four different R1s now, um, built a couple of, uh, a project bike and some other stuff. But getting on a classic motorcycle and getting to experience that uh, over the last three years, I've been learning more and more and more about uh, the difference between a single Ducati and a, and a twin and uh, the bevel drive and, and different, you know, Smith's gauges and, and Veglia and um, uh, Norton's, the different model of Norton's. Sonny had, uh, he raced um vincent's uh he's got a 1947 uh, series a rapide um raced uh norton manx motorcycles for years all through the 50s and 60s so it's kind of a a crash course in learning the the different models and such it is for sale uh i'm gonna list it on uh bevel heaven which is a uh, um, ducati bevel website that specializes in the uh the old ducati bevel bikes having it restored instead of selling it for seven eight thousand bucks selling it for for 45k um all of that money is going to go to uh sonny's now in a retirement home and uh, all of that money goes to help pay for his uh retirement home bill so he's 92 now 92 so still alive still kicking so.